this is Beth from Beth's Cape and Kitchen. And I'm Deborah in Beth's Cape and Kitchen. Do you remember this? About six weeks ago, I took olive oil and I put in some dried purple dead nettle, some dried plantain leaves, and about a week later, I put in some dandelion blossoms. It's been a little over six weeks since I started this infusion. And today we're gonna make green salad with it. So the first step would be to take the oil and we are going to strain it. Strain out all of our nice herbs that we gathered from our backyard. So I'm doing this, it's got a, what do you think of that color? Kind of green. Is it green or does kind of it yellowish green? Does it look much different than just the regular oil when I put it in there? Mm, I don't know. If it does Let's or see. Not. I'm gonna try not to get any of that in it, but it's still draining. So there's our infused. We learned about um, the benefits of purple dead nettle and uh, plantain leaves and um, also of dandelion blossoms. So this should be a super salve, great for skin issues. So that's our goal today. Um, very, very simple recipe. I did the slow infusion method, just um, six weeks of uh, swirling it once in a while on the countertop. Okay, I think, I think that's pretty good. Okay, now Deborah, it's a would you say a one to six ratio? Yes. We're supposed to be, put one part beeswax to six parts of the oil. Now that sounds to me like it's not really gonna make a salve, it's still gonna be a liquid. What do you think? Well, it said, what does it say? It says salve. So Maybe it's, it is gonna be a liquid salve instead of a well, my friend, I need to make a green salve, and hers was like a, a, a consistency of like Vaseline, maybe. Yes. It was so that's what we're hoping for. And if I don't get that, I want to melt some more. I add more beeswax. beeswax. So Deborah has her trusty little um, scale, and we're going to measure out our parts. We're going to do one ounce of beeswax. This is four ounces. I just got it off Amazon. And then we're going to do... Um, six ounces of the infused oil and then we're going to melt it together on the stove and stir it so let's give this a try she's going to do this part okay first we measured one ounce of beeswax i had the pellet beeswax i ordered off amazon and after that we measured six ounces of the infused oil I got some of the backyard plants down into the oil. So we actually used a strainer again to strain that oil. So we had a little scale. It was a struggle for us as most things are. Okay, so here we have it on the stove. Um, you need to use a medium to low heat. We put it directly um, in a pan on the burner and you can see that, go ahead and give it a stir, sis. Okay, we'll see how long this takes to melt. Mm -hmm. They're getting soft. They're already getting soft, all right. Okay, Deborah, let's talk about what we just did. We have melted it and when you smell it, it seems like it has brought out a, a sweet smell almost. And I think it's more than just the beeswax. I think it's that, it's that dandelion up. blossom and all the stuff that's in it. Yeah. You can really smell that. However, I'm looking at it and I cannot imagine that being a salve when it cools. It's just not going to. Do you think we should go ahead and add another ounce? I don't know. What are you thinking? Are you thinking yes? I'm thinking add another ounce of the beeswax. Let's go for it. All right. Okay, Deborah. Um, we are going to add before we put these into my little tiny four-ounce jars. We're going to add lavender um, essential oil. I'm going to do about five drops of lavender. 
Hmm. And then I have some of the doTERRA tea tree or melaleuca oil. I can't, don't um, yeah, I'm going to add about five melaleuca. It's antifungal. Okay, so we are finished, and um, the one thing I can't help noticing, Deborah, is it's not green. No, it's not. So I don't start to get hard there. You see on the it edge. is. It is definitely starting to turn more into a salve. Maybe we messed up by putting that extra. We might have, but it'll just be a harder salve. So we'll see. We'll keep you updated on that. And as far as it not being a really green salve, maybe I didn't use as much as many herbs, herbs, however you want to say it, or weeds, or weeds, <laughs> or black yard plants, um, as I should have, or as other people did. I think we had a lot. I think it's going to still be a super salve. Yeah. Well, maybe when it gets hard, it'll look, mm. it's not going to look green. I don't think it's going to look green. No. And my uh, my cousin Rena's did, so. Did she do the other method? She just said hers was really green. And, I, and I'm not sure if she, what method she used. I think she probably did cook her plants. But maybe she'll respond and let us know. Okay, Deborah. Um, you have one of the little ones. That's one that we did ratio of one to six. Yeah. One, um, I'm sorry, no, one to one, three. One to three. One to three. One part beeswax one and three parts. Yeah, you've been digging it. Um, yes. I noticed, what do you think of that? When you dig past that like harder part on top, it's softer. It's under. softer underneath, so it's usable. It's really hard on top, though. Yeah, you can still use it, though. You can dig it out. Well, yeah. I kind of wonder, too, if it's not going to be... Oh, um, if it get hard? Yeah, if it'll all get really hard like that. Uh, guess, it might. I guess time will tell, but I think that we uh, messed up. I think we did, too. Now, this one is a one to six ratio. One part beeswax, what six parts. To do? Which is what the recipe called for. And it's much softer. And it's like a But sale. it's still harder. Yeah, I mean, it's still it's hard. Would you it's say it's like bat Vaseline? Would you? Yeah. Yeah, more like Vaseline. Which is what, Would, what a salve is. That's what we were yeah. going for. Okay. Yeah. That's really greasy. All right. Salve is. Yeah. So we'll try that on our next bug bite or case of um, poison. Yeah, I like these Okay, alrighty. So um, let's just get say for the record, use one part beeswax, six parts your infused oil. Just like the recipe said. Just like the recipe said. All right, bye-bye.